Alright, so good morning everyone. Welcome to Metro Dumaguete College. My name is Novi Piri Plaza and I will be your trainer or instructor for the bread and pastry production in C2. So as we start our session for today, I would like to ask everybody to please stand up for the prayer. Amen. You may not take your seats. Alright, so before anything else, I would like to know first who are present today. So please sign this attendance sheet. Alright, so are you done? Okay, thank you. And I also have here data gathering tool. So this will help me know your profile, your characteristics, your learning styles. And this data gathering tool will be my guide in making your training activities. Alright, so you have 10 minutes to accomplish this. Are you done? So please pass it back to me. Alright, so I also have here your self-assessment checklist. In the self-assessment checklist, this will help me identify your current competencies and the competencies that are needed in each one of you. So that the competencies that are already acquired will no longer be repeated. Alright, so you have 10 minutes to accomplish this. Put a check on the yes or no column. When you put check on the yes column, that means that you have uh, a background or a prior knowledge in that competency. Are you done? Yes, sir. Okay. Please pass, pass it. Alright, so I also have here a pre-test. So this is a written test. This will test your underpinning knowledge on the on your qualification of bread and pastry production. So this is a 40, 40 item test. So time is up. Are you done? Alright, so please pass it in front. Okay. Alright, so let us now proceed to the orientation proper of your qualification. So once again, welcome to Metro Dubagani College. So let me just give you a short or a brief background of MDC. So MDC is founded and owned by Mr. Rado S. Manala together with his beloved wife, Dr. Dalma Manala. So this is the Metro Dubagani College. So, it started just a small internet cafe and it is established to provide a decent livelihood for relatives. Now, it is an accredited test learning center that provides quality, technical education, and skill development and together with this that helps on the promotion of middle level manpower development. So, do you have any questions regarding the background of the center? No, sir. All right. So, now, I want you to familiarize the, the training center. So, I have here the layout. So, I know that most of you want to know where is the CR. So, it is right there at the back. Alright. So, any questions with the layout? Alright. So, let's start our discussion for the day with the competency-based training. So, what is CBT? Uh, Mariana, please read the first paragraph. CBT is a training that is designed to allow learners to demonstrate their ability to do something. In CBT, the unit of progression is mastery of specific knowledge and skills, and it is a learner participant center. Alright, so thank you. So meaning to say, it emphasizes um, of what the learner can do rather than on the learning processes. So do you have any questions with uh, CBT? Alright, so we have here the 10 principles of competency-based training. The first one is, the training is based on curriculum developed by the competency standards. Therefore, we have a training of regulations that is followed in this qualification. Next is learning delivery as learning center and should accommodate individualized and self-paced learning. Meaning to say, 
I'm talking about learning center that the learners you will do the learning activities and I will just be here facilitating you. Next is training delivery is modular and is structured. Learning is based on the work that must be performed, so we'll, you will perform activities. Training materials are dire directly related to the competency standard and curriculum. Assessment of learners is based in the collection of evidences of work performance based on industry or organizational required standards. Training is based both on and off the job components. The system allows recognition of prior knowledge or the RPL and approved training programs are rationally accredited. Now, this time we will have the role of CBD trainer. First is trainer as facilitator. So, I am just facilitating. I'm just here to facilitate you. This is a discovery learning. Next is trainer as counselor. So whenever you need some pieces of advice, you can consult your trainer. And trainer as a role model. And we also have role of trainees. So trainees will select what, where, and how they want to learn at their own pacing. So compete again against present job standards and evaluate their own progress all right so we also have there the training activity matrix and of course your achievement chart and your progress chart all right so now we will have the nine cbt areas or workstations so first is the contextual learning laboratory this is where we are right now so we also have uh, this learning resource area. All right, so we have here the learning resource area in which you will uh, study your information sheets. Here is, uh, we have practical work area in which you will do your task sheet. We also have here your uh, institutional assessment area. You will do your um, institutional assessment. And we also have Trainers Resource Center, Quality Control, Support Service Area, Computer Laboratory, and Distance Learning. Alright, so let's go back to, your, to the Contextual Learning Laboratory. Alright, so again, I would like to remind Mariano to please bring with you tomorrow your proof of evidence. Alright, so do you have any questions for today? Alright, so I will see you all tomorrow. Goodbye. All right, so good morning, trainees. Good morning, sir. Welcome to our second day of your training. So before anything else, I would like you to sign your attendance. Are you there? Thank you. Uh, Mariano, did you bring your proof of evidence with you? Yes, sir. Okay, may I have it? Alright, so you have an uh, on-the-job training in your senior high school. Alright, so you will now undergo institutional assessment. Alright, for Ira, so here is your information sheet. Uh, please proceed to the learning resource area. Study information sheet 1.1-5 and please do answer the self-check and compare your answer with the answer key. Okay? For Mariano, you will be undergoing uh, institutional assessment. So please proceed to the institutional assessment area. Alright, so Mariano, are you now ready for your institutional assessment? Alright, so here's your written test. The timer starts now. Alright, so are you done? Yes, sir. Okay, please pass it back to me. Okay, it's time for your demonstration.
Okay, time is up. Alright, so are you now ready for the oral questioning? Okay. Why do you need to measure the ingredients properly? To meet the specified menstrual. What if you have shortage of butter? What will you use? Use margarine instead. Okay. So based on the result on your institutional assessment, you got 95% in your written test. And in your demonstration, you were able to follow the procedures. And for the oral questioning, you were able to answer satisfactorily. So that means that you passed the institutional assessment. So congratulations. Here is your certificate of achievement. You will now go back to the contextual learning laboratory. Hi, Ira. So, are you done with the studying the information sheet? Yes, sir. Okay. Um, did you answer the subject? Yes, sir. Did you compare it to the answer key? Yes, sir. All right. So, may I see? Very good. You got perfect score in your subject. I guess that you are now ready for your task sheet. Here is your task sheet. Alright, so I can see that you're having problem with your task sheet in setting the floor. So this time allow me to demonstrate to you the proper procedure in setting floor. So please observe because later you will have your return demo. So this is how you do it. Okay, so you will need a floor. We're going to put it in the sifter. So put your hands here and that's it so did you observe well in my demonstration so are you now ready for your return demo yes, alright so go Alright, so you are doing great. So I guess that you are now ready for the institutional assessment. So please proceed to the institutional assessment area. Are you now ready for your written test? Here's your written test. Time is up. All right, so it's time for your demonstration. All right, so time is up. Let us now proceed to the oral questioning. What will you use to measure dry ingredients? Measuring cup syrup. Alright, so liquid ingredients are measured by? Alright, so based on the result, you were able to get 95% in the written test. And you were also able to demonstrate and follow the correct procedure in measuring ingredients. For the oral questioning, you were able to answer satisfactorily. So, that means that you passed the institutional assessment. Congratulations. Here is your certificate of achievement. All right, so you will now proceed to the contextual learning laboratory.
right, so very good. Good job, everyone. You were able to pass the institutional assessment on the first competency. And your performance has been recorded in the progress chart and in the achievement chart. All right, so before you go, so please don't forget to sign your attendance. Are you done? Yes, sir. Please pass. All right, so I will see you tomorrow. Goodbye. Bye. All right, so good morning, trainees. Good morning, sir. How are you today? Very good, sir. Okay, very good. Uh, it's, it's good to know that because today we, we will be having an institutional assessment. So let me know whenever you are ready for the assessment. All right, so Mariana, are you ready for the institutional assessment? Yes, sir. All right, so please proceed to the institutional assessment area. All right, Mariana, are you ready for the written test? Yes, sir. Okay. Here is your written test. All right, so time is up. It's time for your demonstration. So are you done? Okay, so let's proceed to the oral questioning. What do you call a substance that causes expansion? What is the difference between butter and margarine? Uh, butter for fat, uh, fat milk, while uh, margarine came from vegetable. Okay. Alright, so based on the result in your written test, you are able to pass it. Okay, congratulations on that. In your demonstration, you are able to follow the procedures correctly. And in the oral questioning, you are able to answer satisfactorily. So that means that you are able to pass the institutional assessment. Congratulations, Mariano. Here is your certificate of achievement. You will now proceed to the contextual learning laboratory. Ira, you're in. Are you now ready for your written test? Yes, All right, here is your written test. Okay, time is up. Please proceed to your demonstration. Alright, so let us now proceed to the oral questioning. Are you ready? Yes, sir. Okay, so why do you need to rest the dough after kneading? To double its volume. How do you check the doneness of the bread or cake? Use skewer or if golden brown. Alright, so let us now proceed to the feedbacking. Alright, so based on the result, uh, you were able to get 
in the written test. So that is very good. In your demonstration, you were able to demonstrate, perform the task correctly. And in the oral questioning, you were able to answer satisfactorily. So that means that you are, that means that you pass the institutional assessment. So congratulations. Here is your certificate of achievement. Please proceed to the contextual learning laboratory. Alright, so I would like to congratulate you all. You are able to perform the task in the institutional assessment. Congratulations once again. With this result, I presume or I consider you to be competent enough and that I will recommend you to undergo the national assessment. But before you do that, um, I have here the evaluation form. Alright. So this will help me improve or enhance the training and the training session. All right, so you have 10 minutes to accomplish this. Are you done? Yes, Please pass. All right, so once again, congratulations and God bless to your national assessment. So see you around. Thank you, sir.